Blackburn Rovers looking for win number seven this weekend as they head down to Northampton. We'll talk about the match and more on today's show. Oh, 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 oh. That's right, folks, back once again with another match preview, this time building up to this weekend's match against Northampton as we, Rovers, looking for win number seven to close that gap or even make it into the top two spots in League One. And uh, before I get stuck into the meat and the action, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. This next few days, it's going to be mental as videos will be coming out my backside every two seconds. Anyway, let's just jump straight into the thick of things. Yes, <laughs> Northampton awaits. Blackburn Rovers head to the Sixfield Stadium. Uh, the match kicking off on Saturday, 23rd of December, 2017. If you're based in the UK, which I am not, uh, kickoff is apparently two o'clock, which is a little bit bizarre. Um, I think there might be a rugby match on uh, later on. Uh, last season, Northampton finished 16th in the division. And to be honest with you, where are they right now? They are 20th. So around about 16th would probably be a good indication of where they're going to end up this season. They're on a bit of a bad patch right now. Uh, top goal scorer, Chris Long. Now, that name does ring a bell. Well, that's because he's a loanee from them six-fingered banjo players, Burnley. He's got five goals this season. He is the top goal scorer. And the man pulling the strings is Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, who was brought in early on in the season after a terrible start by Justin Edinburgh, who has since have gone on to manage Leighton Orient. Over the years, Blackburn Rovers and Northampton have played 10 times. Blackburn Rovers winning six of them, uh, Northampton winning three of them, and they've drawn one between them. Blackburn Rovers have only played Northampton four times at six fields, and you have to go all the way back to 1956 for their one and only victory, and that was in the FA Cup. Uh, two one victors. Uh, the last time out, they met in the League Cup, where it was a 2 2 draw. Uh, must, I, I believe there must have been a replay in that one to make the sixth game. Uh, go back to 1966, 26th of November. Uh, Northampton win 2-1. If you go back even further, back at the 8th of January, 1966, Northampton Town win 2-1 once again. So it's, it's over 50 years since Blackburn Rovers have won at the Sixfield Stadium. But to be honest with you, they've not played that many times. Uh, and it looks like you have to go all the way back to the, the 70s since they last uh, played each other. Let's take a look at the starting lineups first and foremost for the hosts. Northampton, Cornell in goal. Back into the defence, Maloney, Taylor, Pierre, Buchanan. Into the midfield, Grimes is an ex-rover, was on loan, I think, from Swansea at the time. I think he's now on Leeds Books, I'm not too sure. Uh, O'Toole, McGowan, Foley. Up front, Poole and Chris Long. We mentioned him earlier. I think they had a sending off in their last match, which uh, will remove one of their main strikers. I think Poole's coming in. Uh, for them. Let's take a look at the statistics. As I said again, uh, Long tops the goal scorers charts with five goals. Taylor's in there with three. Cooks has got three. And Ravel has got two. Into the discipline. Ro uh, Grimes is there with seven yellows. Cooks five. Uh, Sean McWilliams has got four yellows. And Waters has got three. Into the reds. Crooks is in there with two reds. Ravel's got one. And Barnett's got one. As for the form book for Northampton Town. Last time out at the Sixfield Stadium. There are two one winners over fellow strugglers Walsall. Well, Walsall actually mid-table now. So they, they must have turned a turned corner. Uh, before that, they were on the receiving end of a 5-1 spanking by Oldham Athletic. That was uh, December the 9th. Before that, in the Checker Trade Trophy, Northampton Town stumbled to a 2-0 loss against Portsmouth. Uh, Northampton were held to a 0-0 draw by Berry, And all the way back in September, uh, November the 21st, Plymouth Argyle beat Northampton 2-0 at Home Farm. Is that what they play, Home Farm? Wherever Plymouth play. I believe it's Home Farm. Uh, as for Rovers, this is how I feel they will line up. Ryer in goal, Nayimbi, Downing, Mulgrew and Williams to make up the back four. Conway, Smallwood, Evans and Dak uh, in midfield. Danny Graham and Marcus Antonison up front. Going with Graham now. He's on fire at the moment, so he does deserve the start, uh, which would leave uh, Dominic Sammy on the bench, Joe not on the bench. Um, this is an opportunity now for Rovers. I know we, we can't we can underestimate teams that are struggling, and Northampton fit fit that bill of a struggling side. Uh, but we this is an away day. It's an opportunity once again for Rovers to, to, to bring the fans with them, and they've been doing that in their numbers recently. So hopefully... Fans can come down there to Sixfields. Unfortunately, I'll have to watch it on iFollow. Um, 
But this is an opportunity now for Rovers to, to put the pressure on those top two spots. I'm not sure who Wigan play or Shrewsbury, to be honest with you. I'm only focusing on Rovers. But uh, a win definitely is a must. And then we'll hope for the best and see how the other two do. And then we kick on to Boxing Day, which will be a uh, match. I think it's a home match against Rochdale. And then again, we hopefully we can... We can put some more points on the board. It's important to get the win and to continue the run deep into December. And hopefully we can even stretch it out uh, to the start of the new year. Let's take a look at the statistics for Blackburn Rovers. No, no change at the top of the goal scorers. Four guys there with eight goals. Mulgrew, Dak, Samuel and Anna Tonson. As for the yellow, Smallwoods there was seven. Ben has got five. Evans has got five. Williams has got four. As for the red cards, Elliot Bennett tops that unfortunate table with two red cards. One red card for Samuel, one for Wharton, and one for Harper. Bennett is still dealing with his four-game ban. I think he's up, this will be game number three, I believe. So we will probably have him back for the for the match after the Rochdale game. As for the form, but Blackburn Rovers go into this match on a six-game winning run in the league. The only smudge in that form book is the 3-3 draw against Crew Alexandra. Let's take a look back here at those last five results. Blackburn Rovers 2 0 winners last time out at Ewood Park over Charlton Athletic. Before that, they beat Crew Alexander at Gresty Road in that FA Cup replay. Before that, Saturday 9th of December, Blackburn Rovers with an important 3-2 victory over Peterborough at their place. And like I said earlier, Sunday the 3rd of December, the last uh, smudge on their, their resume was a 3-3 draw against Crew Alexandra, but we were down to nine men, playing against 12. Uh, and before that, all the way back Tuesday the 28th of November, Blackburn Rovers 4-2 winners at Bloomfield Road against Gary Bowyer's Blackpool. So currently, Blackburn Rovers sit third. Uh, Northampton sit 20th. Um, if results go our way, we could end up being second. We cannot close the gap uh, any more on Wigan. So we just hope, hope for the best for them. And maybe they'll stumble a little bit into this tricky, tricky uh, part of the season where it's basically the halfway mark. Um, and once we get over this little clump of fixtures into the towards the FA Cup, then we can have a real clear indication of where we are and how how bad or how good a season we are having. You've heard what I have to say. What are the fans have to say on social media? There's not much out there, but there are a few little tidbits. Andy Cook on the Rovers web uh, Facebook page says, why are Rovers kicking off at two o'clock on Saturday? There were five comments in there, but the best of the bunch was Mark Braithwaite. Northampton have requested they get their beating out the way early. Darren Carl Roberts, also on the, on the Rovers Facebook page, said, On fire! Shrewsbury must be feeling the nerves now. Thought we'd be top two by the end of yesterday, but any week now. Chris Walsh replies, Shrewsbury have got Portsmouth. Well, there we go. Next weekend. And we've got Northampton. Next Saturday, we go second. So that's some positivity there from Chris Walsh. That's some other comments in there as well. Marcus Slinger, uh, who's the admin of the, uh, the Rovers Facebook page, said, Northampton fans right now talking about beating us. So you're telling me... There's a chance. There's a, that's a little snippet or gif from uh, the Dumb and Dumber movie there. There's also a few replies in there. Kalim Khan says, 5-0 uh, written all over it. Obviously in favour of Rovers. Stuart Ullman said, last time they played us at their ground was in the 66-67 season. And they beat us 2-1. But we've stuffed them 3-0 at Ewood. Marky Mark also said, the lads need to remember points make prizes. And these are the games we cannot slip up. The run has put us right up there, so let's keep it going. Three points essential. And Bostock Dave says, no chance. Uh, another GIF uh, from a Schwarzenegger movie, probably Commando or Predator or something like that. Uh, but anyway, moving forward, George Nelson has a little bit of a, a bit of a go here. Right, boys and girls, Burnley haters. All I'm seeing is an issue about people boycotting and people having an issue with other people's opinions. He's referring to the Facebook pages and all that. A lot of people uh, are getting wound up with... There's a lot of Mowbray haters out there. There's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, Venky out people. And, and, and I think we're all on the same page that we want Venkies out and we want uh, a diff different different set of owners. But um, unfortunately, though, right now, that's that's not on the cards. But to me, for me, you just got to get behind the boys. Got to get behind the boys, cheer them on, get them back into the, into the right division. Right now, it's the championship. And then we can kick on from there. But uh, to, 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 you know, without the support, the players are going to... The, would they want to play for the jersey? With, you know, the blue and white? I know I'm wearing a Snoopy Santa shirt, but, you know, imagine me wearing blue and white. But I, for me, get behind the boys. Cheer them on. You know, look at the, look at the camaraderie that's going on right now at Ewood Park with the, with the guys. And that's... 
I don't know what well, how that's that's that started. Maybe it's just the personnel. It's just a great vibe, and let's make extend that to Ewood Park. Let's extend that to you know the away trips. Yes, we are we we we're, we're shit out of luck with our owners, no questions, and that and that that goes to other teams as well. Uh, Blackpool, I think they're on a bit of a turn. Leighton Orient, Leeds. There's, there's a lot of there's a lot of clubs in similar situations, but right now all we can do is back the boys, back the boys, get them back in the right division. Anyway, let's go back to George Nelson and his post here. All I've seen is an issue about people boycotting, people having an issue with other people's opinions. And that was my opinion. Uh, if you want to watch Rovers at the moment, watch Rovers at the moment. Agreed. If you're still against Fankies and would rather stay away from Ewood Park and do away days, that's your choice. Yeah. At the end of the day, we all love Rovers. I pay to watch my team because I enjoy doing so at this moment in time. Please don't start telling people what they can or can't do. Yes, we all... I, I, I just told you what you should do, but... Yes, we all hate Fankies, but support the team at Ewood. From home, from the other side of the world, if may be. Now let's all enjoy Northampton away and Christmas and the games after. E-I-E-I-O, you know the rest. Fair play to George Nelson. A uh, little youngster there, I think. Just from his picture. You have your own opinions, you know. But to be honest with you, I think the best... I, I'm, I'm going to tell you what to do. The best thing to do is cheer on the boys. I don't want to see this club rot. To oblivion. I want to see this club back where they belong, and that is a Premier League side. But first and foremost, we've got to get out of this shitty division, and the only way to do that is to, to root on the boys, keep them cheering, cheering on, and get them out of this shitty division, and then we'll take the next step. Anyway, moving forward. I think that was it. That was all the social media posts out there. There wasn't much banter out there, but uh, but uh, I'm sure there will be plenty after the match. Over the oh, years, oh, a number of oh, players oh, have oh, played for oh. Blackburn Rovers and Northampton Town. Uh, here are just three of them. Goalkeeper Mark Bunn, formerly of Blackburn Rovers. Here he is having a nice cup of cocoa. Uh, and he also donned the shirt for Northampton Town. Defender Raheem Hanley. Didn't really make the grade at Blackburn Rovers. Uh, he's still on the books. So he might make a, a cameo appearance uh, this weekend at the Sixfield Stadium. Um, as he's on the books of Northampton Town. Also, this fella... Uh, a bit of a dynamo in his day for Blackburn Rovers. Ben Marshall, uh, winger slash right back. He also donned the shirt of the Northampton Town. Uh, I have saved a few for the return leg at Ewood Park. But if you can't wait, head over to my WordPress uh, website. There's a full list of all the players that have played for Blackburn Rovers and Northampton Town. Except for Mark, Mark Matt Grimes. I, did not, I didn't see that bad boy uh, before I edited the, the, the document. So, um, But if you know any others... Let me know in the comment section below. Well, you know what I've had to say, you know what the fans have had to say. But what the most important thing is what Cast the Cat thinks will happen this weekend when Blackburn Rovers head down to Sixfield to take on Northampton Town. Let's take a look at what she has to think. I've got for you today folks and if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already make sure you hit the subscribe button I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers the games will be coming thick and fast these next few days it is going to be pretty mental I think it's four games in like eight or nine days or something something bonkers um, and I will try and keep you up to date with all of them um, also if you haven't done so already make sure you head over to the BRFCS forum uh, it's a great opportunity for you guys to chat with fellow Rovers fans uh, from down the road to across the world, all the way over to Norway. There's a lot of, we got a bit of a bit of a contingent over in Scandinavia, and in, in particular Norway. Maybe that was a, a lot of down to Morton Gaps, Pedersen days. Um, but yeah, head over there, check it out. Details to the forum are in my description below. I am also on Twitter, Facebook. If you want to check me out on the go with my occasional, well, quite frequent posts. Um, but yes, important this one, important, continue that run going, make it 7 out of 7, and then we'll bring it all back to Ewood for the game against Rochdale on Boxing Day. Uh, uh, you know, just, just ease back on the turkey a little bit, because uh, it's going to be a rocky road the next few days. Anyway, until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, 
Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now.